Hey guys. Okay, so we're back with another video. I want to talk about how I feel life was so much better in the early 2000s, in the late 90s. Like I, 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 I yeah, I'm lost for words. So let's just talk about this. So, okay, first let's start with why I think it was better. And I do have to take into account here that I was born in 1991. So if we're considering the late 90s and the early 2000s, we're thinking like 98, 99, 2001, 2002, 2003. I was like between the ages of like 9 and 13 or something at that point. So I'm not saying that I had a full vision of the world at all. Um, but even up to just 10 years ago, you know, considering 2012, I just feel that the world was in a better place. And I feel like the culprit behind all of this, of course, is hate, you know, like hate has existed forever, you know, before social media, before phones, before computers, hate absolutely existed. But I feel that the availability of information via the internet, via our phones, has just brought that hate out and made it more just like toxic and insidious and just bleh. So, um, I had a normal childhood, you know, like for the most part, I'm not saying my childhood was perfect, but I pretty much had a normal childhood. You know, we could go out on the streets and play until the streetlights came on. That's when my mom came out on the porch, basically said, bring your asses back here. Um, pretty normal upbringing. And I will say, in my childhood, sort of the political weight or the political energy at that time. So in the U.S., Bill Clinton was president in the late 90s. Um, and then we got George Bush. So I definitely think that there was like a bit of anticlimactic like disparity that happened between Bill Clinton and George Bush. I mean, even though Bill Clinton had his scandal, I feel like at the time, people really, really liked, um, I guess, the energy that Bill Clinton brought. You know, he brought this energy, I think, that was similar to Obama's time, where people kind of just forgot about their problems and was like, oh, togetherness, you know, like we're all in this together, whatever. Um, and so I feel like the energy at that time was just different. So I don't think that we can completely um, attribute that to social media or technology or stuff. It's also just like the times. Um, but me, myself, I have so much... Ugh. What was the word that I'm looking for? I have so much um, hesitation around the phone, okay? So I got my first phone when I was like 12 or 13. It was a white and silver flip phone. And I had all the cute little cases and everything for it. And... um. It was used for calling and texting. <laughs> it wasn't used for all of this other crap. It was used for calling and texting. And now I feel like our phones are barely used for calling and texting. It's used for, uh, you know, battling like warriors on Facebook about some trending topic. It's about uh, sending Snapchats and tweets and, and uh, posting pictures on Instagram this element of people just sharing every facet of their life just didn't exist in the late 90s and early 2000s. Now, when I was in high school, you know, getting older, Facebook was the thing, but just before that was MySpace. MySpace, even then, I don't feel like people were sharing every single facet of their life. It was more specialized and focused. It was like if you were really, really into music, 
that's what you posted on your MySpace. If you were really, really into cooking, that's what you posted on your MySpace. You didn't post, oh, like, I went to the bathroom, took a shit, and then my, my sister walked in, and then she threw the laundry everywhere, and uh, she kicked me out of our trailer park. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm making shit up. But I do know that there is this just like air of people just throwing out all of their dirty laundry on online. And it's like, no, just hold some of that in. OK, keep some of that for later. It's just like, you know, Um, the other thing is I feel like eh, mm, this is a difficult one for me. I feel like as far as being in an integrated society, you know, being proud of being in an integrated society, of a multiculturalism that was a benefit, I feel like in the late 90s and the early 2000s, this was something that we were actually really trying to uplift. Whereas now, I feel like we're almost trying to segregate again. It just feels absolutely strange. Um, I feel like during this time, there was a sentiment left over from our grandparents. Mm, maybe that's where we're getting into it. So my grandparents, all except one, have passed on. Um, except for my maternal grandfather. He's the only one that's still trucking. And the closest grandparent I was, the, the grandparent I was closest to was my maternal grandmother. She's passed on recently. I feel like their generation, in a way, was a grounding aspect. And perhaps now that so many of them are leaving us, maybe that's why the world feels a little bit stagnated. I don't know what, you know, a little bit frazzled. Um, companies actually try to hold some sense of accountability I feel like back then um like for example with this Balenciaga stuff I feel like in 2004 or 2005 that shit could have never happened I I, I just I don't understand it um no I don't understand it I also feel, I mean, there are some things that have improved, uh, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but there are some things that surely have had to improve. But, um, so, the phone. Okay, the phone. The notification bells on my phone give me anxiety. Anxiety. To the point where I literally live most of my life with my phone off. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I don't care if you think that makes me a bad person. I don't care if you think that makes me irresponsible. I've had a successful career without having to constantly be on social media with the thumbs tickering. I can actually go on a train and I'm the only person with my head up. Unless I'm reading. I'm the only person without my head buried in a phone. And I just feel like that wasn't the case in 2004. And most of our relationships these days, I feel like, are not in real life. They're on social media. They're on the internet. And so I think we've also lost a little bit. We need to fine tune our social skills again. It's like we need to get back in there and figure out how to ride a bike. It's just like riding a bike. You can do it, but... You need to try it. I feel like um, we didn't let, you know, even though we had things like MySpace, we had all of these things popping up. We didn't let that absolutely um, overcrowd or replace our real social connections. And I feel like that's probably the bulk of where all of this anxiety, this depression, this hate, this negativity, um, I feel like even racism, racism, prejudice, sexism, um, you know, homophobia. It's all a lack of communication, I feel like. It's almost all, all, all a lack of communication and a lack of empathy. 
you definitely have to consider that some people don't have the empathy. So they don't have all the tools in their toolbox to even get to the point of, you know, having the bare essentials to go forward um, in supporting others different from themselves. But I feel like since we barely communicate outside of social media and the internet anymore, our human connections with one another are diminishing. It's just like they're slowly being lost by the wayside. And so um, me personally, it, it might take me weeks to respond to your text messages. And it is not because um, I don't like you. It's not because I don't love you. It's not because I'm, 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 um, it's not because of anything that you've done. It's because of me. It's more me. It's like, you know, if somebody would pick up the phone and call me, I can answer the phone and we can talk. But this constant of the texting, it's just not me. Um, and I feel like maybe that comes from my background. Like I grew up with the That's a Raven, Amanda Show, all that kind of generation. So maybe it's just something that's not as inherent to me as it is to the Gen Z kids or even the Alpha kids. Like my little three and four year old nieces and nephews, they can they can work an iPad. Like they they can they can work it. Um But yeah, I just feel like it's more of um personal thing does anybody else have this you know like a whatsapp gives me anxiety like true 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 anxiety and i feel like the way that people text you and communicate with you and whatsapp is not necessarily how they would communicate with you in a bare simple text message or on the phone it's like you ha you can't forget that whatsapp is a social media uh platform as well so it's like you can share stories on there you can share gifts you can do this you can do that and so and you can always have your little profile picture there you can change your profile so i feel like there's an element of power that comes into this for example one of my biggest hates of anxiety with WhatsApp, and it's still there today, even with just talking to friends, because I no longer have any professional business on WhatsApp. I've moved it all off because um, the past, you know, between 2020, 2019, I'd say 2019 and 2021, I had a lot of professional uh, an academic activity going on on WhatsApp. You know, I had bosses who were on there. I had clients and colleagues who were on there. I had uh, people from groups at my university while I was getting a master's who were on there. And I would get texts at all times, all hours of the night. You know, it would just be like spamming me, spamming me, spamming me, spamming me, buzzing me. Um, on the weekends, you know, it's like I, I never, ever had a chance to just turn off. And I am the type of person who needs to turn off. I mean, that just really, really peaks up my anxiety. And so um, from that experience is, and it, it was mostly unprofessional bosses. You know, it was mostly inconsiderate, narcissistic bosses and colleagues who just, you know, act like they can't send a fucking email. I, I check my email at least like 40 times a day. Send me an email. This this is my job. You are not my uh, husband. You're not my, my girlfriend. You're not my mother. Like, stop spamming me. Send me an email. And uh, schedule a meeting. Like, Send me some documents. I, I just feel like social media has really become a crutch. Um, and I'm not saying that social media is bad. I love social media. But I do notice that the platforms that I gravitate to are more anonymous. They're more um, focused around specific topics. It's not as much in the control of the person to just you out whatever's going on in their life it's more like oh this was interesting Did you guys hear about this what do you think about that what do you think about that so automatically my platforms are of course youtube because this is where i'm talking to you guys but also like 
Uh, Tumblr. I love Tumblr. I still love it. I don't care. I don't care. I love Tumblr. I get so much inspiration and motivation from it. And I think that's another thing. If you really like lifestyle, inspirational stuff, things like that, um, sometimes the WhatsApps, the Instagrams, and the Facebooks just aren't meeting your game because it's like you really aren't being stimulated with the information that you are actually interested in. Um, yeah. I also feel like music in the early uh, 2000s, in the late 90s and early 2000s, was so much better. Like, and, and, and why is that? I've discussed this so many times with my friends, with my family. Like, what was it about the late 90s and the early 2000s where, like, R&B, rap, hip-hop, um, um, rock and roll, pop, indie, like, Across the spectrum, it was like people were being so much more creative. Right now, everything sounds exactly the same. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Part of it, I feel like it goes with society and um, with the trends that happen within you know mass media. But I also feel like it's the companies, the the big one percent companies that are all in 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 in, in power and. It's like they see a formula that can make money and they just like, we're going to keep doing it. But I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments. I feel like life was way better when I was younger. Um, maybe I'm delusional, but I don't think I am. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.